This is a EJ22 close stack. This engine is over 20 years old and is developed for the World Rally Championship. This engine is a piece of art. But unfortunately the engine has a crack in the liner and on the other side a very hard engine damage on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. So my mission called to rescue this epic engine. For this we need of course new sleeves. Here we have some Darton sleeves. In the first step I measure all diameters. The sleeves vary a little bit in the diameter. Now I write a program for the CNC. For drilling the bore I use this awesome tool from Big Kaiser. That's how a CNC program looks like. Now I fix the engine case and the CNC. With the professional machine level I check if the block is straight and fixed correct. Now we set the work offset with the Renny Shaw system. Now I adjust the diameter of the boring bar. This is so accurate, this tool is epic. You can adjust it in the 100th of millimeter perfectly. One complete ball run runs something about 3 minutes. That's super fast because we work with cooling.
now I'm on the limit with this tool holder. You can screw it super easy out and can change it to the bigger one. Now you can see the old sleeve is almost away. So we can change the cutter. This cutter here is extra only for aluminium. First we bore the hole for the complete sleeve and now we do it here for the upper part. Here you can see the surface of the bore is super smooth and fine. That's exactly what I want. Okay, for the other cylinder I uh, start the time-lapse video. There you can see how often I have to change the diameter of the boring bar. There you see uh, this uh, also a lot of work because uh, you have always to check the diameter if it's correct. But with this tool and with the CNC it is much easier than with a normal uh, engine boring bar. And what is for me most important that it is much more accurate and the surface is much more better than with a normal boring bar. So here I check the diameter again. Okay, then I have to change uh, the cutter for only aluminium. And here you can see I um, do the upper part where the sleeve sit in the engine case um, with the flat mill and that's very important and that's why I found it so good to do it with the CNC because you often heard that the sleeve drop or something like this and that's why the the part where the sleeve sit is not complete straight and when you do it with the flat mill like this it is perfect
Okay guys, I am super happy with the result. I do now the other engine side and in the next video I show you how I press the sleeves correct in the engine case so it will never drop and uh, you will have a lot of fun with this awesome engine. Um, so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss the video. I hope you like my videos and uh, see you soon. Ciao!